It's Leanna McLean reporting with Metro Land Media Group, and in this Your Life video series, we're helping you save on energy. Today, we're back with Dave Walton, the Director of Home Ideas for Direct Energy, and in this segment, we're discussing replacing old furnaces. So how old is this furnace here? This furnace is only 11 years old, which is a, a good sign for this homeowner. Um, I have recommended to the homeowner that they want to make sure they get an annual maintenance done on the equipment. Okay. You should have a, a licensed technician come and perform that. And what they do is they expect it to make sure it's running efficiently okay. and safely. So okay. things like uh, the flow of gas, that can affect how much fuel you use, which can put your bill up. Uh, and safe, safety wise, uh, to make sure there isn't any uh, issues with carbon monoxide of any kind. Okay. So. Um, so, in other words, this homeowner's furnace, he's in good shape. Oh, and, that's good. Uh, but the real message is uh, a lot of homes still have older furnaces. Yeah. And when I say older, I'm talking 25, 30 years old. So, what, what, what problems can come with this? Huge, huge difference in energy efficiency. This okay. is a very energy efficient furnace. This is upwards of 90% efficient. Okay. okay. So, to put that in perspective, an older 25, 30 year old furnace, yeah. it's what we call a conventional burning furnace. And when it was manufactured, it was manufactured to operate at 60% efficiency. Oh, wow. Okay. So, what are the dollars here? Well, what it means is a 60% efficient furnace, 40 cents of every dollar you spend heating your home is going right up the chimney. Wow. So as an example, if this is, say, 92% efficient, right. then only 8 cents of every dollar is actually being wasted. Okay. Huge savings for the homeowners. Savings. Yes, very, very good savings when you upgrade that older equipment. Not to mention uh, some of the technology they have in the equipment today. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they've got variable speed motors. It can help uh, move the air more evenly, distribute through the house. Okay. Um, they can get a, a two-stage furnace, so it'll actually think like a, a smaller furnace and therefore use less fuel to keep the house warmer in the in the shoulder months like uh, September, October, November, right. and then in, into April and stuff before you really need the, the heavy duty uh, size of the furnace to kick in. Uh, this is a high efficiency piece of equipment and uh, just uh, just because it's 11 years old, you just want to start to maintain it a little bit more than you, may, you may have in the past. Right, and maintaining wise, how many times should we? Once a year, once a year. Uh, is fine for this, but you also want to do an air conditioning maintenance once a year as well. Right, okay, well thank you very much, Dave. Okay. Stay tuned for more in our Your Life video series. This is Leanna McLean reporting with Metroland Media Group.